Let's kind of go to the collegiate. Uh, let's go to college football for a second. And the the college football playoff rankings came out, and there 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 wasn't much wasn't much secret. I mean, the top ten: Oregon, Ohio State, Georgia, Miami, Texas, Penn State, Tennessee, Indiana, BYU, and Notre Dame. I th- I think I now while I think. Oregon has kind of separated themselves from the pack. I don't think that there's much separation between any of these teams. Even Oregon, to an extent. I mean, I know they beat Ohio State, which was their biggest win, obviously, of the year. But they beat them because the Ohio State dude slid when he pulled a Dak Prescott. Um, The committee really likes the SEC. Like, <laughs> they they – Let's see. So it's obviously a 12-team playoff. In the playoffs right now, if it were to start right now, Georgia, Texas, Tennessee, Alabama. Four teams were in that. Four teams in the SEC would have made the college football playoffs. And on top of that, Oregon, Ohio State, Penn State. Three teams would have been in the Big Ten. So, uh is Indiana in the Big Ten? Maybe Indiana. What I'm saying is this. There's not much. There's not, you know, there, there's not much. Uh, there's not much separation between these teams. There's a lot of really good teams like Oregon, Ohio State. Like, there's a lot of really good teams. I don't think there's a great team in that. Obviously, what, what adds on to the parity of college football, which we've seen the last few years. I think that this is an interesting season. It's very, it's going to be very interesting to come down to you know which teams, um, what they do, and and who bounces who. Uh, what what I think is going to be very either beneficial or not beneficial for teams is matchups. Wherever they land in the college football playoffs, yeah. Like think about this: Oregon, right now they pretty much have a fast track to the Big Ten championship. I think. They'll have to see. Uh, I don't know. They might have to see Ohio State again, but if they do, there's a good chance. And if they do win the Big Ten, there's a great chance they're going to be the number one seed. They're going to have a bye to the you know. And the first game, <laughs> the first game they play could be against Alabama. Like the first game they play could be against, let's say Tennessee or Texas. Like that's, you know, so. It's going to be very interesting what this college football playoffs hold. So, but the first rankings, the first official rankings came out, and there's really no surprise outside of. I think it's interesting that while Oregon is ranked number one, the betters and all the analytics are pretty much saying that Ohio State is the best team, and Ohio State is going to win the national championship, even though Oregon beat them, uh, and they still think even with how much they've they've looked bad offensively and losing to Alabama. They still think that Georgia is still one of them teams, which I'm not against because they also did just thrax uh, Texas. I'm very interested about Miami being number four. I think rightfully so. You know, they're nine and no, but damn near every game they have to, they are down double digits. Like, and Cam Ward just continues to shine, but Almost every game they are down double digits and they have to come back. I don't know how how much that's going to last, but you know we'll see. I'm I'm very interested to see what what happens with this college football. Uh, oh man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.